Hi guys, uh, this is Michael. Uh, today I'm going to do a review on, um, not a review, just a, a kind of a demonstration on one of the more practical uses of an Android device. I mean, obviously, other than a telephone, texting, all the stuff we already know about. Um, basically, this is kind of as a, uh, a mini laptop or um, a very portable laptop or something of the sort. So what I have, uh, this is just basically TV output with uh, Bluetooth and keyboard and whatnot with some optimized settings. Um, quote unquote. Uh, so basically, right here we have a Samsung Galaxy Nexus uh, with a uh, cheap uh, $7 case. Um, so here you have it. Um, this is running a ROM. Uh, it's on Jelly Beans, running some sort of uh, flapjack mod. But that's uh, completely unnecessary. It's not important. Um, if the phones say they run with HDMI uh, output, then they do. Um, in general, and you don't need a you don't need any sort of enhancement to do this. What you do need, though is um, one of these um, and this is basically I got this from monoprice.com and it's basically a micro USB uh, which is what your phone has or what, what the Samsung phones have at least uh, to HDMI uh, converter and these typically run for under ten dollars which I think is a pretty good investment they also have this power outlet right here another U micro USB and this is to connect your phone to a power source while it's doing HDMI output because it's a uh, something that requires a lot of energy um, so you're going to need to do it, otherwise the phone won't uh, won't do it. So what we have here, uh, this is going to be the TV of choice uh, today. Uh, basically a, a normal TV with any any form of HDMI. If it has the HDMI cable, this should work. So what we have right here is, um, this is the power source. This is the charger for my phone. Uh, this right here is the charger for my phone. Um, and we're just going to plug this in right here. And then you're going to take this is the HDMI coming out of the TV right here and that's going to plug in uh, right next to it sorry I'm recording this uh, with a camera taped to my head um, but here you go and then uh, watch what it, so the TV is on HDMI output right you, you have to put the input settings to HDMI and you basically just hook it up right here So that should do the trick. And as you can see the TV right now, uh, the phone automatically changes to landscape. Um, and you have here basically your, uh, your phone. See, your entire Android phone is now on here. So um, as you can see, uh, this becomes pretty practical, um, I think, um, especially if you have a wireless keyboard or a mouse. So. The next step here is to see what we could do. Uh, one of the one of the outlets, instead of buying like a Roku box or something, if you don't want to hook up your laptop to your TV, you could use the Netflix. And um, remember, this outputs in 720p for for this phone, uh, for example. Uh, meaning uh, it doesn't just stretch everything on your phone. Most people think it's going to get blurry when it's on there. Um, it really doesn't. Um, it changes the output uh, to make it not blurry. Um, it basically changes it to full 720p. Uh, so the next question becomes how do we make this uh, kind of more usable because um, in general this in front of a TV is cool if you want to watch Netflix but isn't always the best um, you know if you want to actually do something productive um, like navigate a website type of paper etc um, so this is uh, what I did uh, basically you could hook up Android has built in you could hook up to a Bluetooth device uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, just like a laptop, completely wireless. Um, and these have uh, about 30 foot ranges, so um, typically won't be a problem. You could just have the phone by the TV and then leave, um, and then go to your desk or whatever and work from there. Um, I found this uh, very useful um, uh, as a student. Uh, so uh, what I chose, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you need a Bluetooth device that doesn't have a dongle. Um, you could have something with a dongle, but then you need a, another kind of tool to output, and then um, basically it's going to cost more money. And then there's a question as to whether or not you could even output to a TV at the same time um, as using um, that kind of output for the dongle. So what you need is something without a dongle, something that's pure Bluetooth um, that connects to your tablet. So basically any tablet keyboard or any tablet mouse, if it's marketed as uh, um, as being for tablets, um, and these are more expensive, then it should work on your phone.
Uh, so what I chose was actually the Wedge family uh, from Microsoft because I'm probably going to end up with a Microsoft RT tablet at some point in the next you know, 10 years. Um, so I just bought these key this keyboard and mouse anyways because uh, you know you can find it for like under 100 bucks um, somewhere on Amazon. So um, I'm not doing a review of those or anything, but I'm just going to show. So this is the uh, Microsoft uh, keyboard right here. Uh, it's got this cool little cover which I like. When you take off the cover, it turns on the keyboard, which is a pretty nifty device Microsoft is learning. Um, so this is the uh, cover. It's very thick, it's very heavy. Um, well, not heavy as bad, but it's durable. And this can bend, basically. And the point of this is, essentially, you're supposed to be putting tablets on here, but you could also put your phone. See, you could just, you could basically mold it to any shape you want. I mean, it's kind of tough with this. You could put it like this. Anyways, the, the point is, um, this this thing is meant to hold your phone. So if you're at like a coffee shop or something, um, and this would look retarded, but it's okay. Um, sorry for my use of the word retarded. This would look strange, um, but you could just have it like this at a coffee shop and be typing on your phone, etc., and do whatever you need. Um, or uh, you could have it hooked up like this. And again, it would just do the the output like we did before and all you need to do here is because I've already paired these um, so you just pr press the Bluetooth button right. so Bluetooth is on now I'll put the phone away um, just to show you Netflix real quick how that would work and this is you know as you can see it can substitute for a Roku box and Xbox whatever if you're gonna you're gonna have it going out see and there you go and um, just a demonstration of what you know whatever's going on here um, um, let's say just uh, see as you can see right here this will stream see and then basically 720p as you can see very big very large all of this is coming from the phone so yep yeah, get out of there um, Another use you could have is let's see, basically anything on the phone you can do. Um, so, um, just uh, an example of the type feature here. Um, as you can see, uh, let me see if I can get this. There is not much lag at all. Probably none that I can actually detect. See, so uh, as you can see, the keyboard functions work pretty well. Um, if you want, uh, I could do a function, uh, like a review on what these buttons do. They're made from Windows 8, but a lot of them can kind of work here. The volume buttons, etc. I haven't tested all of them out, but I can make that video if you guys want. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is just uh, one of the practical uses for your Android uh, phone. Um, uh, just to demonstrate again, uh, if you wanted to just have it like this, you could essentially just use this. It doesn't look as cool, um, but it would it would do the trick if necessary. So as you can see, the mouse still shows up. You can do this. You can get a ROM to make this more of a tablet user interface um, instead. Um, all these options are available if you just root your device um, and you don't need to root your device again to use these things you just need to root it for special features another thing I use um, is Tasker uh, as far as practical reasoning it's uh, practical um, usage, usages um, you guys know um, most of you probably know Tasker is for automation um, and it can do some very advanced stuff um, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube I can kind of demonstrate some of these to you. Um, one of the one of the ones I use right here um, is actually this thing right here. Um, this is just an icon. And this is just for when I actually hook up, uh, when I want to hook it up. I have this profile right here that will turn on Bluetooth, turn on Wi-Fi, and then use the secure settings to turn on air airplane mode so that I don't get phone calls while I'm watching a movie on TV. So essentially what you could do is you can um, you could just have it start. You could press the start button basically and let it do all these things at once, automate automatically, um, whenever you want to hook it up to the TV. Um, or um, a kind of fancier way um, you could have it is um, you could have one of these NFC stickers which run for under a dollar um, and basically make it so that all these things execute when you tap on the phone. 
and the use of this is that you can basically like have it on the keyboard or on the mouse or probably not on the mouse that's a bad idea all behind the TV on the keyboard on the mouse and you basically tap your phone you tap your phone on the sticker um, and then it will turn on Bluetooth turn on Wi-Fi and um, um, turn on airplane mode uh, you can make it do whatever you want essentially but Tasker is just one of those uh, programs that's pretty worth paying for um, if there's any program to pay for it would be that one so anyways guys uh, I know this was kinda lengthy and um, nothing super impressive but just a practical use that most people don't realize they have built into their phones um, thought I would share um, again doesn't have to be a Galaxy Nexus uh, it doesn't have to be this exact device um, that I got um, from Monoprice, but this device does work splendidly. Uh, doesn't have to be a um, Microsoft Wedge uh, product, um, although these work wonderfully. The swiping options work amazingly. Uh, the keyboard's amazing, but that's just my personal opinion. There are cheaper options out there or um, different options in general. Um, but yeah, uh, feel free to review, feel free to comment, um, feel free uh, to add suggestions, and I'll make videos as I go. Um, if you guys need any tutorials on how to flash ROMs, how to flash anything, um, if you have any questions on different combinations for TV output, um, if you have any questions on uh, different mouse features you want me to test out before you buy this, just let me know.